All right, so the ratio of boys to girls in Mr. Jones's class is three to two. So we're gonna create a model. So I've created a model here that represents this context. So we have three girls and two boys, okay? Next, we're gonna use a model to find ratios that are equivalent to the ratio of three girls to two boys. Man, I gotta come up with something to get Justin to pay attention. He's just sleeping through class. Hey, Justin. Huh? What type of interest do you have? Cars. Cars are cool. I like racing cars. You like racing cars? Yeah, I like racing cars. Hey, Justin. Want to race? You know what? You're on. Let's race. Let's do this. Let's do this. Go. I can't believe Sam beat me. Man. I'm gonna have to do some research to figure out how to make my car faster. NOS kit. Yeah. That'll make it faster. Hmm, how about a turbocharger? He did say he was interested in cars, so what if we wrote an example using cars? Yeah, yeah, I think this will work. All right, for this next example, Justin, huh? I created an example using cars. Could you please read it off the board? Oh, you got an example with cars. Okay. Yeah. Steve has a car with standard tire size, which is 16 inches, and he can reach a top speed of 110 miles an hour. He wants his car to go faster. So what size tires will he need in order to go 140 miles an hour? Justin for reading that. Okay, so we learned about ratios the other day, and so we're just going to set up a ratio of tire size to miles per hour. So we know a standard is 16 inches, and you can go 110 miles per hour. Oh. So if he wants to, if Steve wants to go 140 miles per hour, uh -huh. What size tire will he need? Oh. So in order to do this, we're just going to set up our equation, which is. Oh yeah, I remember that cross multiplying stuff that she talked about. Forty. Equal one hundred and ten x. Hmm, that's my same tire size, and that's how fast I need to go. I could actually use this on my car. I bet it would be the same with my weight ratio. Weight to horsepower. So his car has 100 horsepower, but it only weighs 2,100 pounds. So that's 0 0.05 horsepower per pound. So my car, it's 120 horsepower, but it weighs 250 pounds. So that gives me 0 0.048. That means his car has more power per weight ratio. Hmm. How much would I need then to make mine the same? Well, I want mine to be 0 0.05, and I have 120 horsepower. How much weight do I need to lose? X. How much weight do I need to lose? Let's see. 120 equals 0 0.05 times X. I can divide both sides by 0 0.05. That gives me 240. So I need to lose 100 pounds. I don't think I'm losing 100 pounds from here. So Justin, wanna race again? Yeah, I'm not losing to you again. Well, it's nice to see you, Justin. You seem to be paying attention today. Yeah. Actually, remember that uh, problem that you talked to us about, about the car sizes? Well, I actually used that um, with the different tire sizes, and I won a race yesterday. Wow. So I'm really excited about math now. I really want to learn these ratios.
Now see, that's what I've been trying to tell you guys, is you can yeah. use math to do things in real life, things you're interested in, things you're excited about. Yeah, I didn't know that we could use math in real life, so I'm really, I'm really excited to use it now. I'm gonna use it a lot more often with my car racing. Well, that's good to hear. Do a little, like, dance, and I'll put music to it. <laughs> but hold on, we got parking enforcement coming. One of the things I'm going to be able to use math for now is adding up how much my speeding tickets are costing me per month. You did say he was interested in cars. This will really get Justin's attention. <laughs> 